Do you guys ever pretend like you're in a hair commercial? give you my first impression, my thoughts on it. Uh, my hair is a little bit different. It's, it's a little bit more coarse. Um, so the last time I used a curling iron was over 10 years ago. Uh, I stopped using them just because my hair wouldn't keep a curl in it. I think it was just the barrel didn't get hot enough. So I stopped using them. Um, so this will be the first time I've used a curling iron in over 10 years. It's kind of epic. Instead, I started using my straightener to curl my hair. Wait, what? That's right, I use my straightener to curl my hair because I think it's because the ceramic um, plates and it gets much hotter than um, the curling irons I used to have. So I think that combination just really seals the curl a lot better. I'm pretending like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. Just roll with it, just roll with it. And because I think the barrel uh, the barrel is ceramic so I think that's going to help hold the curl longer just like my theory my probably very flawed theory that that is why um, my straightener holds the curl a little bit better a little bit better I think the curling iron is going to do the same thing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to part my hair I'm going to do one side with the straightener and one side with the curling iron just so we can get um, a really good side-by-side -side comparison. Also, don't judge me too harshly because when it comes to hair, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just go along with it however it turns out. That's what I look like that day. But I um, have never been a hairstylist or makeup artist or anything like that, so this is not a tutorial at all. But I just thought it would be fun to give a first impression of a product that I've kind of had, didn't have an interest in for a long time. But I started to see a lot of videos on the clipless curling iron, so I decided to give it a try. So I'm really excited to see how it turns out and if it holds. Alright guys, I'm going to part my hair now. You ready for this? You ready? That was anticlimactic. Okay, so I left all of my hair ties at home. As I say that, I see a hair tie on my wrist. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right, take two. I do have a hair tie, so I'm just gonna tie off one section um, of my hair, like so, just to kinda keep it out of the way. And then I think I'm gonna do, do this side with my straightener. So guys, I'm just realizing something. If you're new to my channel, um, you don't know that I have an eye condition called Stardarts. And what that is, is, is is what it is what it is I am losing a good portion of my vision and it's my it starts it's my central vision and so I just realized as I'm filming this that I am kind of standing a little bit too far back from the mirror so I'm having a difficult time seeing what I'm doing with my hair so I'm hoping this is still going to work, so we'll just play it by ear. Typically with the straightener, 
Um, you can get much tighter curls. I have done it, um, but I typically like to do really loose, try to get the beachy wave look with my straightener. Again, I don't know if that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I think I am to an extent. I'm not sure. Like I said, I am not a hairstylist, so I'm pretty sure that all of you could do a much better job than I'm doing right now. But this is for science. We will soldier on because it's for science. I'm really nervous that my hair isn't doing what it's supposed to be doing, what I think it's doing right now. And then it's just, and you guys are just humoring me by watching this video. If you are, thank you. Okay. Almost done with the straightener. Guess I should do my bangs too, so I don't look like such a dork. Dork, dork. Caitlin, fixing your bangs will not fix that. Oh dear. Bangs are always hit or miss for me. Do you have the same problem where some days they look fantastic and then other days it's just... You just may as well wash your hair all over again and start over. This has quick, <laughs> quickly escalated into a bad bangs day. Okay, so you're going to have to suffer through it. So it didn't come out exactly how I wanted it to. Um, usually I can get it a little bit nicer looking. Um, like, it seems like I only got the wave, the curls at the bottom today for some reason. I wasn't able to get it up a little bit higher. Some days that happens. I don't know why. It's just my technique changes day to day, I guess. Um, so today, this is what it is. It's going to look even better when I've got a completely looking, different looking curl on the other side. Then I'll go out in public and everybody will think I'm so fancy. Okay, so we're done with the straightener and I am now plugging in this little guy. It's like, I, I really feel like it's a little lightsaber, like an individual, a, a pocket size lightsaber. <laughs> They said that you only have to wait about 60 seconds for it to heat up. Um, I think that's pretty much the same with my straightener. They also give you a nifty glove. I'm really nervous that I'm going to burn myself horribly right now. Like, it looks simple enough, but as I was thinking about it and like kind of messing around with it before I plugged it in, it's going to be trickier than I thought because there's no clip to hold it. <laughs> and so, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. But we will persevere. So, I'm just going to clippy clippy this side. Because it keeps wandering off my shoulder onto the other. I'm really nervous for some reason. I don't know why. I'm going to try it without the glove first just because it was making my hair a little bit frizzy and it's already very frizzy to begin with. Ooh, okay. I think I'm nervous because I can't see the mirror. I wish I could scoop closer. Or no, I wish, if I, if I can have a wish, I wish for better eyes. That's what I wish for. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Sorry for the language. Ah, that's scary. <laughs> okay. Hold on, time out. I'm gonna look at this. All right, so like I expected, it is much more difficult than I realized it was going to be, especially when I can't, I, I have a hard time distinguishing depth perception as well. When I can't tell how close I am to hitting the barrel, that makes me pretty nervous. Okay. Oh gosh. This is gonna take me forever to do all this here. Ah! Uh, Alright, let's try this again. Maybe I will put on the glove. Just so I don't maim myself. Oh. This is very difficult. Alright. 
Oh gosh, I'm... Ow! <laughs> okay. If you have any tips on how to better use this thing, I would love to hear it because I have never used one before, as you can tell very clearly. And I, oh gosh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to do the back and bigger sections just so it can go a little bit more quickly. And then once I get to the front, I'll do the smaller pieces um, to get the more PC look. Oh gosh, oh, so terrible. I'm not good at this at all. Come on, get it together, man. Oh gosh, this is really scary. Oh, and I'm scared I'm gonna like leave it on for too long and then my hair is just gonna fall off. Has that happened to anybody? If it has, I wanna hear your story. This is a support group, guys. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's a vision loss support group, but it's a support group for everybody. So if you've lost your hair in a terrible curling accident, please share your story. We are all here for you. I'm just going for it now, you guys. I don't know what's happening on my head. I'm just going for it. La, 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 la. Okay, I'm gonna try the glove now, just to see if that like gives me more, more confidence. Do gloves make you feel more powerful, or is it just me? Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like the feeling of the glove rubbing against my hair. I can just, I, it feels like the frizz. Oh crap. <laughs> My curling iron on my phone. That could have ended very badly. Phew. I will say, yeah, no, I don't like the way the glove feels against my hair because I feel like it's just insta frizz when I rub it on my hair. But I do feel more comfortable holding the curling iron because I'm not as scared to oh, burn my fingertips off. I really, I mean, yes, it's very difficult, um, but I really think it's just something that's going to take practice, just like with anything else. Like when I started using my straightener, I had to practice a lot um, just to get used to it, and there's so many different techniques and ways to do it, um, so it's just going to take practice. strange curl when I look at it closer like it's I don't know it like has a weird indent halfway through it I'm not sure what that's about or maybe I'm just not used to having tighter curls like that so maybe it's normal and I just don't realize it is that true guys I kind of like it like I don't feel like it's the typical tight curl it feels it it looks more like a wave, or am I crazy? I can't really tell what I think about this just because I've gotten a different curl every time I do it. Um, uh, so I'm sure that you can do a variety of different things with this thing, just like with my straightener. Again, you just have to practice. Almost done, almost to the end. My battery died again, guys, so sorry, but what do you think? This is the finished product. I think, I kind of like it. I mean, I feel like it's almost like a hybrid curl. Um, I, I don't know how to explain it. I think it's just because I haven't had my hair curled in this way for so many years that I just don't recognize what a normal curl looks like anymore. But there is a huge difference. Um, I really like it. I mean, it's... It's more tight than I'm used to, but I really like that there's more body to it, um, especially on top. I'm always, I hate when my hair gets flat on the top, um, which always happens with this, so that's why I'm constantly messing with my hair. Um, but I like that there's more body to this side, um, and I'm sure throughout the day it will loosen up a little bit, or in five minutes. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so here is the back view. I hope the camera's in focus. 
So here is the straightener side. And the curly iron side. Does it look totally weird in the back? Like how they crash into each other? What do you guys think? Which one do you like better? Do you like the straightener side or do you like the curling iron side? Alright guys, that's it for this video. It's not my typical video, so it's a little out of my comfort zone, but I thought it would be fun to just give it a whirl. Uh, give it a whirl, a twirl, and a whirl. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more like it. I would honestly be very surprised if you did. But hey, if that's what you want, I will do some more. I would also be very grateful if you wanted to subscribe. If you're looking for more videos like this or any support, sort of support group, that is what this channel started as and continues to be. It is a support group. Um, it started as a support group for vision loss, but I it's open to anybody. Anybody who's looking for something good, uplifting, and motivational, this is the place to be. So please subscribe down below if that's what you're looking for so that you're able to stay up to date with all the videos that I'm putting out there. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm very grateful. I hope you're having a great day and that things are going well for you and I will see you next time. Bye!